Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to perform a demo by using merge join transformation as well as by using lookup transformation. And in the merge join transformation, we will use the inner join. And in the lookup, we will use the matched output. And we'll try to compare if they work in the same way or they produce different results. And uh, we will, first of all, we will write our inner join query by using tsql and then we'll perform the demo by using merge join transformation and we'll use the inner join type in that and finally we'll use a lookup transformation in the demo and with the match output and see the outputs and observe if they produce the same results or different now let me show you tables we are going to use in this demo i have a table called source table that has only customer id and customer name and i want to join actually i will be inner joining with the the lookup table and i would like to get the region for this record so if the customer name match between both of them i want to get the region from the lookup table so let's go go ahead and write our query so we'll be saying select uh, s dot customer id as dot customer name so that's our source and then we'll say comma uh, l dot region from dbo dot source table and we call this one as alias s inner join the next table we have dbo lookup table and we call it l and when we have to provide on class in the on class we will be using customer name from both side so we'll be matching on customer name now if i run this one the first table source table has five records and it has one two three and four five customer ids and the last record is sam that has id five but we do not see sam here what uh, inner join will uh, produce uh, by tsql so you see that it produced four uh, records so inner join gives us or returns us all the matching records so that's the definition of inner join now it did uh, uh, as well whatever it we were expecting so it did, did return us all the matching record and it did not bother to return the, the number fifth record as uh, um, the inner join definition is uh, it always return us the matching records so it find the matching records for four customer names and then it returned us the region from that now we will be performing the same thing by using a sql server data tools and we have to create ssis package in that you can use the bids if you have new ssis package we will be reading uh, the data from a sql server table db source table and here we will be using data flow inside the data flow we will use the oladb source so i'm going to call this one uh, customer sorry source source table and then other that i have to use is lookup sorry i'm just trying to rename table now let's make a connection open one of them make a new connection in this uh, we are selecting uh, the tables from the same database uh, but uh, you will be using uh, the merge transformation in the scenarios where you have the data uh, on uh, maybe multiple servers uh, and the, uh, or maybe multiple uh, databases uh, and you don't want to join them directly and or you cannot join them directly in one sql statement uh, if you have on the same server uh, you still can use uh, the fully qualified path uh, name sorry uh, such as database name schema name table name and uh, that's how you can extract uh, but maybe you don't like that practice and there are chances your database name change or anything so you will be selecting uh, the multiple OLADB sources and then selecting the records from there so you have your sources on different servers think about that so we will use a test here and then in this case we are selecting the data from the source table so i always recommend writing a query because tomorrow your source table definition can change and here we'll let's write a query called customer id and customer name from source table 
I'm a really big fan of writing queries in SSIS. I don't recommend using any drop downs because uh, that's not really best practice. Anything can change, customer name can change or a customer ID column can change and then you will have difficulty. Now here we will be using a SQL query and we will be selecting customer name and we need as we need to match on customer name or join on customer name and we need to get the region so we'll say region from dbo dot lookup table and go and take a look on the data everything looks good columns come in fine now we have option to sort the data here inside by using the SQL statement and use the is sorted property but in this demo I'm going to use the sort transformation directly if you are getting the data from SQL server I recommend using uh, order by here and inside the SQL statement and use uh, the property is sorted you go to the advanced and see that property there and use that property now sort is really expensive uh, transformation if you are getting millions of record it will just stop there and put everything in memory and then start sorting so uh, i recommend again if you are using data from coming from the relational databases sort them and use a sort property but if you are getting data from uh, such as flat file excel file you don't have option then you can use the sort transformation so go ahead and but still like if you have millions of record you might want to write uh, to the staging table and just use uh, the sql statements uh, instead of uh, using the sort here and uh, select uh, the column on which you want to sort so we want to sort on the customer name and here we will be using merge join so we will join and it will ask us okay which output merge join left uh, input fine and then we select uh, the second input and here must have matching metadata so it is saying both input uh, inputs of uh, transformation must contain at least one sorted column and those column must have matching metadata so what is the difference uh, let's see what we have here on which column we sorted maybe we have used this customer ID that was wrong we need to sort on customer name as we are joining on customer name so now we are all good it is joining on customer and it is using inner join so go ahead and uh, what we see here and no input found we will be selecting region and we will be selecting a customer name from here and customer id hit ok and finally i will be using multicast i can write the data to the table or file or anything but here i would like to just show you data so i am using multicast as dummy transformation and i can put the data where between the merge join and multicast to to show you the data so now if I go ahead and run this uh, package what happened and we are going to compare with our tsql statement and it is uh, producing the same four outputs uh, uh, records and here in the tsql also it produced the four records when we use the inner join and we join on customer name so merge join with the merge join transformation with the inner join uh, type uh, work exactly the same way what we write in the t sql inner join so that's uh, good and then uh, we are going to go ahead and uh, use uh, the lookup so let's bring another data flow we are going to read uh, you can disable this one actually i'm going to rename this one inner join demo spelling is wrong for inner join and here I'm going to call it lookup demo just naming the data flow task DFT lookup demo now we will be selecting the data what we can do actually we can we don't have to use a source and everything we can actually get this uh, source table from here we can copy this one and go back to the lookup and just paste it here so we don't have to rewrite the same query over and over and if you will open it we can always copy and paste the transformations from between the data flow tasks sorry uh, data flow tasks and uh, we can also copy and paste the connection managers across uh, the um, packages and the same way we can copy data flow and other transformations from one package to another package and uh, here 
we will go ahead and now we have source table and that has columns next uh, we need to use uh, the lookup so uh, we will be using the lookup here and we will be selecting uh, full cache re redirect rows to no match if they do not match that's what uh, we want to do because inner join always give us matching records <coughs> excuse me <coughs> excuse me so it gives us always matching records so we are going to we are concerned about the matching records only so i selected that part i don't care about non matching i'm going to write my query the same way i wrote in the uh, merge join transformation select customer name re region from dbo lookup table and we will go ahead in the columns now we will map on the customer name and select the region and these columns will become in automatically because they are available input columns and from lookup we have to select the column we want to add in the output so we selected the region hit okay and the last thing we need to do here we need to bring a multicast so we can see the results as well here and this is a for the lookup match output so that's what i'm expecting i want to see only the matching records from the source and the lookup or reference data on this one if there is a record that's not matching i'm ignoring it so we'll have the record uh, remember when we did the inner join there was five records from the source here but only it gave us four matching records so, so fifth one i want to ignore in the lookup so i use this output of lookup and uh, I can go ahead and put the data viewer here to show you, but I don't care. I, I'm concerned about only the matched record. Now let's go back and right click on the DFT lookup and execute the task. <coughs> and we see that it is also producing four rows. So it is working pretty much the same way what we have seen in the T-SQL what we have seen in the merge join transformation and lookup is producing the same results but there is a one major difference that let me show you if i will have let's say in the source table or in the lookup table i will have duplicate records let me put one more record here with the same name let's say amir so i am going to put another record in the in the lookup table and that has id 5 and the name is amir and region is na <coughs> excuse me now we we can insert this record here and in the lookup table we have two duplicate records by name so if you see here by name we have Amir here we have Amir here as well so they are not duplicate by the customer ID but they are only duplicate by the name and we are only joining on the customer name so if I run this query this time even my source has only four records uh, sorry my source has five records but there is only one Amir and in the lookup we have two Amirs so it is producing duplicate records and you can see that it is bringing two records as a lookup table has duplicate record so when you have a duplicate record in any of the table and you are doing the inner join what it will happen if you are joining on those records which are duplicate it will produce multiple or duplicate outputs uh, output record that's what happened now with this query in tsql we got if I run this uh, inner join, I'm getting uh, five results uh, and uh, there are two records I'm getting for uh, Amir and one from Asia and one from uh, North America. Now let's go back to the table, sorry, package and run the inner join. Uh, still <laughs> spellings are wrong for join, J-O-I-N. If I run this one, execute task. It is showing us exactly the same record what we see in the T-SQL. One Amir coming from Asia region and one Amir coming from North America region. But the last thing we need to see, how our lookup will behave with these duplicate records. So if I run this one, 
execute SQL task, sorry, execute task, and I'm running the lookup data flow. And what I see, I see four rows, and I see Amer is coming from only Asia. So in the source, I have five records, and there is but only there is one Amer. In the lookup data, I have two Amers, but when it is producing the output, it is only producing one record for Amer. So why is that so? Because lookup work as equal join or EQ join. So whatever the data it is getting from the source, it is getting five records here and there is only one Amer. So it is not going to take two Amers from the lookup and add them. So it is going to only produce or match with the very first record it, it will see in the reference data or the lookup data and get that column. So if you see that that we had Amer coming from source and when we matched it with this lookup data, Asia AS was the very first record here and that's why it got Asia and then give it. So whatever the records coming from the top, they will go to lookup. Lookup look will match with the very first record in the in the memory whatever it has and uh, then it will produce the output matching output it will not duplicate the data the the way it, we do in a in a joint tc call or with the merge joiner so there is a major difference if you have duplicate data in the reference uh, data set if you use them in the merge join with inner join you will have multiple records coming out but in the lookup whatever your source is how many records are in the source it is going to match them with the uh, reference data and produce uh, the same amount of uh, record it can it will not duplicate the records so that's uh, very important to understand when we talk what is the difference between lookup and inner join in the merge join transformation so always make sure you understand this because you can produce multiple outputs uh, by you uh, multiple uh, records by using uh, uh, merge join transformation and uh, you can also create trouble by getting the wrong region let's say in this one we were expecting uh, okay if we have a region uh, we have record come in the armor is come in but we should be getting the the last uh, region that was updated in this table but we are getting the very first region so in that case you might have to go back and say order by your uh, region or uh, I in, in these cases, we don't have a column ordered columns like such as uh, created by, created on, and modified by, and modified on. But you, you probably would have, and you will order by uh, last created or uh, last modified uh, date. And that's how you will say, okay, I want to use if the armor is existing in the same table and he belong to multiple regions which region i want to use so you have your own uh, criteria maybe requirement comes and say okay if amir or customer name is in the same uh, two regions what you need to do you prefer to use asia so in that way you write your logic that your lookup data should or lookup query should return amir with the asia always and that's how it will be used here in the lookup so uh, Think about the requirement, uh, do analyze the requirement and then produce these queries. What exactly do you need? If there are duplicate records and you talk with the, your uh, uh, architect and tell them, hey, you know what, with the customer name, we are getting some duplicate records and but the region is different. How you want me to deal with that? Which region would you like to have for Amir? Maybe there are 10 records for Amir in this table. And there are there are ten regions. Which region I need to select? So you have to provide, or who you will say no? Okay, we will get the customer ID as well and the customer name. So you join on customer ID and name. And by doing that, we always have uh, two records coming out. So for Amir and uh, when it is ID one, you will join with the lookup. You will have a customer name and ID different, you will have NA. So that's how it can be treated. So you have to talk with your manager or architect and actually do analyze by yourself as well. What outcome the lookup can create when you have duplicate records in that. And it is for sure different when we use the inner join or use the merge join transformation with the inner join type. So thanks very much for watching this video and I will see you in the next video.